Hello, beautiful mamas. Hey, I'm Dawn Humphrey, and I'm the CEO and creator of Boss Mompreneurs. And I'm going to give you one simple thing you can start doing to create success. Say hello as you pop on, and let me know if you can hear me okay. And if you're watching the replay, put hashtag replay in the comments for me. Real quick, if you're new, who am I? I have 15 plus years of sales and marketing experience and owning my own business and being an entrepreneur. So now my passion is to help busy moms to scale their business so they can enjoy more time freedom and do the things they truly love. Okay, I wanna give you one simple thing you can do to start creating success, okay? First, you've gotta have the right frame of mind before anything else, okay? Or you'll get started and then you'll stop. You'll get frustrated or discouraged, and then you'll stop. When building the foundation for a successful business, the first thing is confidence and mindset. Both are a learned skill. No matter who you are or where you've been, you can learn to be confident. It's a skill, and confidence equals success. So what gets in the way of our progress? What is it that causes most people to fail? What is the real thing that gets in our way of the dreams that we want to manifest? You know, we all got different stories in our heads, like I'm not smart enough, I'm too young or too old, I don't have the capital, and so on. I know everybody's got a reason why they're not successful in business or life, but there's only one reason why, and that's because we come up with all the reasons <laughs> that we don't have the time, the energy, the money, the capital, the systems, whatever it is. But most successful people find the resources because they're resourceful. They figure out what they need and they have enough positive emotion to find the answers. Because they're creative enough, you'll find the answers. Okay? If you're determined enough, you'll get through the problem. Uh, and it's not a problem, it's a challenge. Okay? And if you care enough for other people, you can get them to care about you and your mission. So the ultimate resources are human emotions, but there's one emotion that is the only reason why people fail. And you know what it is, it's an F word, fear. False evidence appearing real. It's called, or F everything and run. It's probably more accurate description of what really goes through your mind um, when you look at this thing called fear. But what I wanna tell you is that there's some, there's some simple things that you can do to get through that fear. Because if you don't get through that fear, you're just gonna have excuses and stories. And even if you succeed, we all get fearful, okay? The strongest people on earth have a place where they're fearful and we all have fear it's a human condition and it's not designed to make you happy as I've shared with you it's designed to make you survive okay so it's always looking for what's wrong it's always casting these images and think about all the things you've ever worried about or you've been fearful about and how many times have you been worried about something, fearful about something you know for days and months or even weeks you know just and it never happened, okay? So the one simple thing you can do to start creating success that will help you build your confidence is you've got to feed your mind. And if you're gonna succeed and you're feeling depressed, frustrated, or overwhelmed, you know, stressed, fearful, whatever, you've got to feed your mind. And every single day, you've gotta feed and strengthen your mind. And you can't hope that you're gonna have great ideas and motivation to do them. It's one thing to do it every once in a while, and it's another thing to do it as a system for the rest of your life. You gotta make it a habit, a daily habit. Because habits are what create us. It's not what you do once in a while, you know, in life that matters. It's what you do every day. And that's what shapes your character. And that's what shapes your mindset and your confidence. Okay, so number one, every day, read for 30 minutes a day miss a meal but don't miss reading 30 minutes a day and, and you can read more than that the more the better but a minimum of 30 minutes a day read something that will challenge you read something that's going to make you grow something that's going to either going to give you a philosophy that will guide you in life uh, so you're more fulfilled or a strategy that makes you more successful don't just read random stuff this 30 minutes is for your growth so read something that's going to inspire you Okay, and if you're not a big reader or feel like you don't have time to fit this in your schedule, think of a creative way that you could accomplish this. You can download books on Audible. 
on Amazon. They have the Audible. You can download them. You can listen to books while you're working, while you're cleaning, while you're, you're, you're doing things around the house. So this is not going to add another thing to your plate, okay? Um, if you look at a person's income, and it will never far, far, it'll never go farther than what their personal development is, okay? So, like, you're not going to be able to build a business where you're marketing to superior people when you're inferior in your own growth, okay, in your own personal self-development. So, everyone starts somewhere, but if you do it daily, you can't believe the advantages that you'll have. Also, you need to realize that fear is necessary. It may not feel good. We're programmed when something doesn't feel good, we want to stop, and self-doubt is a lie. Reframe what's going on, okay? We're comfortable being miserable. So your mind is hardwired to protect you. So that is why every time you think about stepping out of your comfort zone, you stop yourself. You let you stop you. And the hardest thing you'll ever overcome is your limiting beliefs. You can take massive action, attend all these trainings, and gear up for all these things, but if you do not change your life map, you will not change your life. And your life map is that underlying subconscious parts of your mind. Okay, if you think you can, if you think you can't do something, you can't. And if you think you can do something, then you can't. And um, if you're not happy with your current circumstances, something has to change, or you'll be sitting in the same very spot that you're sitting in right now, a year from now. And is that what you want? In order to get from where you are now to where you want to go, it's simple in the sense that it's not complicated. But it is very hard in the sense that you have to change the way you're thinking. You have to you do like a life hack on your limiting beliefs, okay? Your current surroundings and your current circumstances tell your brain a story. Your past tells your brain a story. And you have to hack into these patterns and change that. And as long as you're, you know, you have fear, you're, in a, you're a victim. It's like a deer in the headlights. It makes you freeze up. Get out of the headlights. Find resources, don't stop and freeze, keep moving forward. Get out of the house, change scenery, get some fresh air, uh, change around your, you know, your furniture, your office. Get outside in nature, read for 30 minutes a day, okay? And if this landed for you, and you know, if you're thinking, okay, Dawn, this sounds all great, but I don't know what my first step is, then reach out to me we can connect and create a plan of action steps for you. I can help you discover your, you know, what's holding you back and help you discover your true potential and purpose. And you see most people who experience the anxiety and depression um, experience this because they have not yet discovered their purpose for their lives. And you need to create this consistent movement and it helps you to discover your purpose and create a plan. So once you do this, you will have so much passion and so much peace and you'll get to experience joy. So, and I hope this brought you value today. And um, if you haven't yet purchased my book, um, it's on Amazon. Just do a title search for Have You Fallen Down. In my book, I want to help you rekindle your faith on, you know, and how to truly feel joy every day. And my hope for my book is to inspire people to know their true worth and learn how they are special and unique and how to find your true purpose in life. So check that out on Amazon. It's Have You Fallen Down. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And I hope this blessed you today and create an amazing day. Life is now. Be blessed.